G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, a while back I reviewed this cheap Chinese uh, LPG or propane uh, heating torch. It just runs on standard gas. It's not oxygen boosted in any way. And it performed quite well. It performed as well as any other plain LPG torch that I've used. They're all very similar. I don't think there's much difference between any of them. The, the only variation is the output, the heat output, and that would be determined by the size of the, of the, of the nozzle and the corresponding jet, of course. It's all proportional. In this case, it, uh, yeah, it's got a variable flame. A lot of them, you can't vary the actual flame very much, but this one's actually not too bad. The, the nozzle on it has this sort of configuration, but it works okay. And I've been using it quite a bit. It's been dropped, and it's, it bent the shaft, which is brass, for the control knob, the on-off knob, and I'm not going to bend it back because brass will snap if you bend it in both directions. So I just leave it and I'll use it. But that's a bit of a weak point on it. The piezo lighter, sometimes it works, most times it doesn't. So I use the old flint lighter on it. But anyway, cut to the chase, I had a comment, a question from one of the viewers recently. Uh, he said, can you use this to melt glass? Now, I've never melted glass in my life. And I don't know. I don't know whether it's hot enough or not. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll try it out today on a, on a beer bottle and we'll see if it will melt the neck on a beer bottle. So let's have a go. Now I presume that when the glass would it melt glass, he meant can you actually work glass with it, like for making glass beads and things like that. Well I expect you'll be able to melt it, but I don't know whether it'll be runny enough to actually get it to that state because if you look at the videos that are out there on making glass beads and working glass they always use uh, map gas something as you know at least that temperature now I've got a bullfinch auto torch which is plain LPG but it will give a equivalent to map gas it's an expensive torch so we'll try this torch first and see how it goes and then I'll finish off and show you how the bullfinch torch would do it which I expect would be quite okay now let's try the Chinese job first.
Okay, let's see if we can make a bead. No, so you can see that it will melt it, but you can't work it. It doesn't uh, flow enough. So now we'll use the bullfinch torch, which is LPG also, but it's a specialised torch, capable of much higher temperatures than standard LPG, and we'll see how that goes. This is the bullfinch auto brazing torch, so now we'll use this.
you can see the bullfinch works it just like map gas, exactly the same. Much better than the standard LPG. So the standard LPG torch just can't do it. So there you go. Standard LPG performed exactly like I thought it would. And the bullfinch auto brazing system much hotter, way hotter. And as I said, it's equivalent to map gas. And it will run on a 10 kg cylinder for probably oh, two or three hours, which would cost you, say, $25. Your map gas cylinder will cost you the same and run for 15 minutes. So this will pay for itself over and over and over. It's worth every cent of the not inconsiderable price that it is. Okay, that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Cheers.